the scene is uh, Brian has been getting inundated by calls from promoters wondering if the Beatles are going to cancel the tour because of what John Lennon said. John comes in completely oblivious as he is, and that's where we are. Take it, boys. Oh, you're all wound up. Maybe you should take a pill? I don't need a pill. I think a pill or two might do you some good, Epi. Please, I'm not going to ask you again. Do not call me that. Not today. Wait, maybe I've got one for you. Hold on. I don't need a pill. I just need you to sit there and let me think. And be quiet. A well, pill would quiet that. Listen to me loud and clear, then, and I don't have any pills. Sure you do. You got loads of them in the loo. You got blue ones and black ones and little pink ones with bright red speckles. I wish I were on pills. I wish, I wish, I wish. But instead, I have to sit here and deal with the repercussions of your quote, sans pill, sans drink, sans anything, all because of your big mouth. I've been told I have a rather nice mouth. <laughs> you really are something, aren't you? It's always a joke with you, always with a quip. Doesn't it get exhausting having to live out to being the witty one all the time, John? Tell me then, please explain to me how you haven't been paying attention to the news. Why should I follow the news? They just keep calling me fat. Or talking about that incident in Manila. Oh, we are far past Manila, John. Manila is a dreamscape compared to this. Here, you're an avid reader. Go on, take a gander. Go on, read up. Read up. The New York Times, the L.A. Times, the Boston Globe, the Chicago Tribune, they want your head, John. Your head. Because we blow off the Marcos family in the Philippines. No, because you called Jesus an a-hole. I did. Yes, you most certainly did. I called did. him an a-hole. More or less. Well, that's a laugh. <laughs> and now we're receiving reports that 30 of the top 100 American markets have banned the playing of all records. Why do you keep saying our? You manage the money, Brian. We'll handle the music. Well, this is my area, isn't it? I have promoters calling me from all over America asking for to cancel this tour. Not just asking, but nearly begging us to cancel this tour. Do you have any idea how much that will cost us? More than a bag of jelly, baby. A million pounds, John! A million pounds! That's nothing. You don't get it. America is a tinderbox. Do you know that just a few days ago, a madman in Texas used a sniper rifle to pick off his fellow college students? Another lunatic slaughtered a group of student nurses in Chicago. The country is going bananas. The escalation of Vietnam and race riots? The Americans are on the brink. We're supposed to relieve this tension, not fuel it. Although we may be a part of the madness, it's the general yeah, yeah, yeah pandemonium, but now we're a part of a whole different scenario. The fire-breathing Ku Klux Klan waiting at your door kind of madness. This is becoming dangerous. We've been receiving serious... Serious what? Grief. Serious grief is all just... <clears throat> grief. Well, Brian, a million's nothing. We'll make that up with the next album. There's more than enough to go around. I knew we would hit some bumps in the road, but this could sink us. If we cancel this tour, we're going to fade. We'll fade like Billy Fury. The hell we will? We're not fading like Billy F and Fury. Okay, you know what? Enough of this. When did I call God an a-hole? Jesus. It was Jesus. When did I call Jesus an a-hole? I'll just read it. Fine. A little bit. Of a now that's all this in Hollywood at the Dory Theater Complex, Santa Monica Boulevard. Give their names out again so we uh, can we hire have, them for other things. Spencer Cantrell is Brian Epstein. Hello. We have David Foy Bauer is John Lennon. We have much. Stephanie Greer as Maureen Clay, myself as a reverend. Uh, you have to go to hollywoodfringe.org to buy tickets. Use the discount code BEETLEJOHN. Come on, we've got five more shows throughout the month of June. Please, please come on and see us. We'd love it if you'd be there. And do you have a pair of tickets for some we lucky do. people yeah. in the audience? All right, one right there? The, yeah, there you go. You got, got the tickets. tickets. That's all you had to do yeah. make some noise. And speaking of John Lennon in 1966, shall we play a song? Yes, Trevor. Great. great, guys. Fantastic. Hit it, Dave. Uh -huh. 